Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. Are you looking to take your Madden game to the next level? Look no further than Sybil.gg for the best ebooks on the market. Choose one of two membership options, and don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 25% off. Well, what's going on guys hopefully everyone is having a fantastic monday morning but today today we are going to be updating the quarterback tier list and after the ap update the quarterback landscape is definitely an interesting one there's a bunch of variety at the top right now a ton of good options at quarterbacks so we're kind of going to dive into it i'm not going to lie to you guys this tier list today is probably one of the harder tier lists i've had to do because like i said there is so much variety and there's still a lot of question marks in this game, it feels like. So, yeah, this was definitely a hard tier list to make. And I am aware that tomorrow, Team of the Year does come out. I am recording this on Saturday. So, if they do reveal the Team of the Year quarterback, whether it's Sunday or Monday morning, um, he's not going to be in this video. What I will do, though, is when I do the quarterback gameplay for Team of the Year on Tuesday, I will let you guys know what tier he belongs in in that video. So, yeah, be on, be on watch for that. I think it could either be Herbert or Carr or Lamar, any of those three options, honestly. And all three of those are pretty good options. Probably Herbert would be the worst out of those three, honestly. But I would love to see, uh, I think Derek Carr would be really cool to see. Before we hop into today's tier list, about half you guys who watch the videos are actually not subscribed. So yeah, most likely you right now watching this is not subscribed with those notifications on. And I'm about to start updating all these tier lists throughout the next couple of weeks. So you're not going to miss a single video, a single gameplay, or a single upload. Okay, so here is the updated tier list after the AP update. I will be adding more players to the tier list as we go, obviously. But if you don't know what the AP update is, basically EA added plus one AP, the Gunslinger, and plus two AP to Escape Artist. And what that has done is it's almost made people move on from guys like Derrick Henry and Jalen Hurts because you got to invest so much offensive AP into those guys to really use them. And yeah, I still have Derrick Henry at one. Is he going to stay there throughout the video? You're going to have to wait and see. But Derrick Henry, now after the AP update, his release is just so fast. Like the fastest release in the game by a pretty good margin. So the fact he has that release and you don't even actually have to run Gunslinger on him. You could actually run Pass Lead Elite and Escape Artist on Derrick Henry. And he's still just so good. So that's why Derrick Henry is still at the top even after the AP update. Because he already has a butter release and you can run pass lead and escape artist on him and he's still you know the, the uh, cream of the crop that 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 dude derrick henry is still an absolute problem man so the first quarterback we're looking at today is going to be jalen hurts but there are some new names already on this list like sam bradford and vince young vince young he's a brand new card but he has a really bad release and you kind of have to run gunslinger on him to really use him so vince young in my opinion i think he's like a b-tier quarterback but you could probably use him and get away with it if you want to invest all that ap into him or if you, or if you just want to run gunslinger on him, you could definitely use vince if you really want to but again vince does get i believe vince gets definitely titans cams and eagles cams and you have derrick henry and you have jalen hurts over there so there's real no reason to really be running vince young unless you're just a huge vince young fan but like i said let's hop into it the first card we're looking at today is going to be the limited time jalen hurts Okay, so Jalen Hurts has the generic three release. And if you guys are not familiar with Mutt GG, it is the go-to website for all my, you know, card reviews, all my Mutt information. So we look right here, there's no traditional two release in the game right now, but Slinger 1 is what Derrick Henry has, even Marino. Marino, he's staying so relevant right now because you can run hot route and pass lead with the best release in the game. So yeah, if you like to roll out and stuff and use escape artist, go Henry. If you like to stay in the pocket a lot more, Marino's kind of getting slept on right now. I mean, if you can stay in the pocket with that nasty release um, and pass lead with hot route, I mean, that's a really good combo for only five AP. And then you can put a bunch of abilities in, into your run game or put a bunch of abilities into your receivers. Like there's so much flexibility with only having five AP on your quarterback. And, you know, it, it's just so cheap. It's so cheap AP wise that Marino just, I think he has to stay in S tier. Like Marino is really still that guy with the number one release in the game, but generic three, you're gonna see a lot of these guys have it. it is technically the second fastest release in the game right now and yeah jalen hurts has that release but hurts good stats good throw power good throw on the run animation um again you know he doesn't have the release that derrick henry has so for that reason after the ap update i was still liking henry more than hurts even when even before the ap update but yeah i'm gonna put hurts behind henry especially even more now after the ap update Okay, so next up, we have one of the most head-scratching cards to come out this year. 
probably next to Team Diamond, Tony Baselli, and that is the 95 overall Carson Palmer, who is a cool new name that we haven't seen this year, but coming off, you know, Burrow's release, they basically dropped the Burrow clone, and he's not a clone because Burrow is way better than Carson Palmer, but 88 speed, 93 acceleration. The biggest hole on this card is his throw under pressure at 86, but does have the traditional one release, which is actually the third fastest release in the game right now, so... He has a good release, he has good speed, he's a uh, field general, so pretty decent abilities, you know, gunslinger and hot route and stuff like that. But yeah, Carson Palmer, man, I don't know what EA was doing with this card, but they really missed it. Wait, does he get, I think he gets hot route gunslinger, he does, right? He should. And yeah, he does, he does. Okay, yeah, yeah, hot route gunslinger, it's the same AP that Burrow gets it for, for that, uh, for that beautiful, I think it's 8 AP, I believe. Wait, does he get gunslinger? Am I blind? Oh, he does. Yeah, 6 AP Gunslinger, 2 AP Hot Route. So 8 AP for that isn't terrible, but there's Carson Palmer. And we're going to throw our man Carson. Honestly, I'm going to throw Carson behind Sam Bradford. Bradford has generic 3, so a faster release. Um, Yes, he cannot get Hot Route Slinger, but Sam Bradford does have the good throw under pressure, which I think is a pretty major hole on Carson Palmer, in my opinion. So I'm going to put Sam Bradford in front of Carson Palmer. So next up, we got another Team Diamond quarterback, and that is the 95 overall Joe Montana with 91 speed, 95 acceleration, 95 awareness, 94 throw power, 92 short, 93 mid, 95 deep, 95 throw on the run, 95 throw under pressure, and a 95 play action. Joe Montana is an improviser archetype with the traditional one release, so the same release as Carson Palmer, Joe Burrow, Tom Brady, which is, like I said, the third fastest release in the game right now. So Montana is nice when the card is powered up. He can get that 11 AP. You know, escape artist gunslinger combo. If I were you, I'd probably only pick one though, because like I said, 11 AP is a lot. And in my opinion, I don't think I don't think Montana is S tier. I don't think I don't think he's at that level of Marino, Hertz, and Derrick Henry. But I do think he is just off. So we're gonna throw Joe Montana at the top of A tier for now. He is definitely subject to move, but for now, I'm gonna put Montana at the top of A tier. So next up, we have the Slinger 2 Baker Mayfield. And Slinger 2 is a fairly fast release. We head down here. Slinger 2 is right behind Traditional 1 as far as release speed goes. So Traditional 2 is what Baker Mayfield has. 87 speed, 92 acceleration. The card, I think, powered up. I'm 100% sure does get Hot Route Master and Gunslinger, which pretty good combo, 8 AP. The only problem with Baker is that throw under pressure, which is under 90 even when the card is powered up. But... Good throw on the run, good throw power, good accuracy stats. This card actually did play pretty well for me when I had him. But yeah, I don't think he's obviously on an S tier. But we're going to throw Baker right next to Tony Romo. And if you want to throw on the run, I would go Baker. If you want to sit more in the pocket, I would go Romo with the better throw under pressure. So these two quarterbacks are actually kind of interchangeable. Yes, flashback Baker and legend Tony Romo. They're basically equals in my eyes. They really do basically both play the same. They really do. I mean, if you want to roll out more, go Baker. If you want to sit in the pocket more, go Romo. Okay, so next up, we have the Zero Chill Champion, Kyler Murray. And I kind of like this card right now. Um, when he first came out, I wasn't the biggest fan because he didn't get Gunslinger. But Pass Lead and Escape Artist on Kyler is a combo that you can run. He has the generic three release. 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 94 throw power, good accuracy stats, good throw on the run, good throw under pressure, good carrying, good COD. Kyler Murray's a card that, yeah, is honestly kind of trending up right now. So I'm going to throw Kyler. I mean, yeah, I mean, you guys see the AP right here. Actually, can you see the AP here? You should be able to. Pass lead four, escape artist four, which is eight AP. That's that's a pretty good combo right there. And escape artist, I think, is the most broken ability in the game right now it, it it really might be so yeah where are we gonna put kyler i think we put kyler right in front of romo and baker but right behind montana but again if being that you know scrambler quarterback is your play style kyler's a good option and i used to knock him for not getting gunslinger but now you don't really it's not a it's not you don't it's not necessary to run gunslinger anymore because of how much it cost ap wise so next up we have the 96 overall team of the week player of the week joe burrow with 86 speed 
90 acceleration, 90 awareness, 95 throw power, 93 short, 95 mid, 94 deep, 93 throw on the run, 92 throw under pressure, 95 play action, and also decent carrying and a decent juke, stuff like that. You really shouldn't be using it too much though, to be honest with you, but Burrow has the traditional one release, which is the third fastest in the game right now. Does get that gunslinger and hot route for 8 AP, and I do like Joe Burrow's card a lot. I really do. I think without question, Joe is an S tier quarterback in this game right now. I'm going to throw him right in front of Marino. Again, 8 AP on Burrow. So you're getting three more AP for Gunslinger. I mean, you could run, you could run pass lead on Joe, but he doesn't have the release that Marino has. So, I mean, you are talking about three more AP, but you are getting Gunslinger on Burrow. So it's kind of a give and take, but I'm going to throw Burrow just in front of Dan Marino up here at S tier. So next up, we have the playoff limited time, Johnny Unitas. And basically, if you did the reroll, the morning of the playoff promo you most likely have this card in your binder probably yeah, there's no reason for you to really quick sell them obviously but johnny U, 97 overall the reason why this card is so unique is because when the card is powered up he actually does get all, like all three of escape artists gunslinger and hot round master which he was able to he, he used to be able to get it for just 11 ap which is actually pretty glitchy but here's johnny U and his power up and by the way he does have i think it's i think it's generic one yeah, generic one release which if we look at it right here generic one is one of the slow releases in the game right now up there with jim kelly tebow and yeah johnny U's there too so not the best release on johnny U, but here are the abilities for johnny U. and if i were you you have to run gunslinger on johnny united that release is not fast enough not to run you know gunslinger which basically eliminates escape artists because 12 ap on johnny U is kind of ridiculous if you really want to though you could just go 14 ap on johnny u and run gunslinger escape artist and hot route if you i guess if you really want to but yeah i think gunslinger is a must on this card and then probably you're gonna want to go hot route too so basically you're eliminating escape artist because of this new update which yeah kind of sucks and his release just isn't fast enough to get away with running pass lead so johnny unitas is he s tier if i made this video maybe before the ap update i think he would be i think he would definitely be s tier but I think right now, I'm not going to put Johnny U in S tier. I don't think he's there. I'm, I'm going to put him at high A tier. I think he does just fall out of being an S tier quarterback. I really do. In a game with so much variety right now, I, I don't want to put him in S tier. Because I don't think he's in that elite conversation right now. So next up, we have the playoff champion or wild card champion, Josh Allen. And this card is very unique because right now, Josh Allen is the highest overall strong arm. And I think besides Boomer, yeah, Boomer is our second highest strong arm on this list right now. So the strong arm archetype is kind of rare to come by. And the reason why I like strong arm archetype so much is because of the gunslinger ability only being 5 AP on these guys. So 5 AP gunslinger is really nice. If you feel like you really need gunslinger that bad, then gunslinger Josh Allen is the move. Just run gunslinger on him. He does roll out pretty okay even without escape artists and also does have the generic three release which like i said on jalen hurts and kyler murray and all those guys is the second fastest release in the game right now so yeah josh allen also his price tags looking pretty good too so 5 ap gunslinger with stats like this yes jalen hurts does actually have better stats than josh allen but again it's the 5 ap gunslinger i mean do you want to trade the speed for the ap on the gunslinger it's kind of up to you but I'm going to go Josh Allen. I think with easily he's an S-tier quarterback. But I'm going to throw him behind Jalen Hurts for now. I mean, you could debate this, obviously. But yeah, I'm going to throw Josh Allen behind Jalen Hurts. But yeah, just know I love the 5 AP gunslinger so much on Josh Allen. And honestly, if you're not going to use Hot Route or if you feel like you don't need Hot Route Master, then Josh Allen makes sense. He really does. Even, even from the pocket, he's a good option. And don't be afraid of that throw under pressure because if you are going to power the card up, Hitting that 90 threshold is all you should really need for throw under pressure. And finally, last but not least, we have, while I'm recording this, a very expensive Russell Wilson. And I do like Russ a lot. I, I, he's got the generic through release, does get escape artist, gunslinger. The card does play very well. Um, yeah, like I said, generic through release. So if you really want to, you could run, you know, that pass lead combo that, you know, Kyler Murray is really locked to. But Russell Wilson, good stats, 95 mid, 94 deep, 96 throw on the run, 96 throw power, 96 play action. I'm um, even pretty good COD, good juke, stuff like that. So Russell Wilson is a card that I really like in the game right now. And I think he's easily a top three quarterback in Mutt. So we're going to throw him up here. The real debate is Jalen or Russell Wilson. So if you are just going to run Gunslinger, 
I like Russ a little bit more. Yes, Jalen Hurts has some better stats than Russ, but if you want to run Gunslinger, Russ actually does get Gunslinger for one less AP, which does go a very long way. However, if you are going to run both Gunslinger and Escape Artist, it's both the same AP on both quarterbacks, but Hurts does have some slightly better stats than Russ, and they have the same release, so very similar cards. I'd probably make these guys both equals. They both really are equals. So Russ and Jalen Hurts, it kind of comes down to preference. Again, it's up to you, but I'm pretty happy with the top five today. I think Derrick Henry is still number one. The gun, I mean, yeah, the Gunslinger one release with pass lead and escape artists are getting, you know, the AP discount, but also still kind of keeping a Gunslinger-esque release, which is probably maybe a little bit faster, if not as fast as generic three with Gunslinger, which is just ridiculous. So yeah, Derrick Henry is just still the best. You got Russ, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow in the top five. And yeah, don't sleep on Dan Marino, man. Dan Marino with that pass lead, you know, hot route for 5 AP is somewhat kind of glitchy. Like, it really is AP-wise. Like, bang for your buck for AP, it's hard to beat that. And then you have Johnny Yu, Joe Montana, Kyler Murray at high A tier. So, you drop a comment down below. I do read every single comment. I feel like right now, the quarterback tier list is definitely a hard one. It really comes down to preference and whoever you're feeling at the current moment. You know, what quarterback can fit into your offense AP-wise. For me, I like having some extra AP for my running back and my run game too. So that's why I do value the quarterbacks that can get, you know, good AP and gunslinger, stuff like that. I do value those quarterbacks. So let me know down below where I missed. Did you guys like my tier list? Let me know down below. What would you change? And um, yeah, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.